Hello, hello everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome. I'm going to get started here in just a moment. Just want to get a chance to get connected like we do every week and then I will get started. We're going to make a fun holiday card today. Okay. I am going to go ahead and share this over to my group real quick so we can get some more folks watching today. And if you are joining today's video, go ahead and pop a comment, say hello, let me know where you're watching from. Love to hear that. And okay, we're going to share this to a group. Hello, Debbie, welcome. All right, share this. And then we'll get started. I hope everyone's having a great day. Hello, Chriselle. How are you? Nice to see you there today. Well, welcome, welcome. Okay, let me let me pull this up on my laptop so I can read comments. Hello, Phyllis. Welcome, everyone. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, it's snowing in Utah, Phyllis says. Oh, I would love snow right now. It is unseasonably warm here in Texas today. Um, we're, It's going to cool off tonight, but the past couple of days, the humidity has been crazy. So it's been interesting. Hello, Narelle. Good morning. Happy Saturday to you down under. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started today. Um, let me start by introducing myself. Um, my name is Anne Marie Heil, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in San Antonio, Texas. You can find me over on my blog at stampinann.com. And I go live Fridays at 4 p.m. Central. And um, today we're going to make a holiday card with the sparkle of the season um, bundle, which is in the Stampin' Up! August through December mini catalog, and it will be retiring soon. So if this is one that you don't have in your collection, I think it's a good one. So we're going to make some projects with that today. I do have a project with that today. I do have a host code here. If you want to pick up any Stampin' Up! supplies, I do want to let you all know at the, in the description of this video, I have a link to, um, the blog post with measurements, as well as a supply list. Um, so if you do want to order any of these products, you can do so. Just click on that link. If you use this host code, I can send you, um, I will send you some thank you gifts as well. I have some PDF tutorials that I send out via email for any $50 um, minimum order. Hello, Trisha. And, um, and then... Yeah, so you can read all about all about that over on my blog. <laughs> I don't want to take up too much time with that. There's also links to the description of my video here. Um, let's see. You know, there's a link to my online store. There's a link to my blog post. Um, if you want to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, if you'd like to join my team, if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, all of those links are up above. Um, after this video... Um, is done being live. I will post it over on my YouTube channel as well. I know some folks prefer to watch it there. Um, and I think that's it for my housekeeping stuff. I like to get that out of the way right out of the gates while we're all getting settled in here. Um, so let me, first of all, recap. So last week on Facebook Live, we used a different stamp set. Um, I made this card last Friday. So if you didn't catch that Facebook Live last Friday and would like to do that, um, it is here on the Stampin' Ann Facebook page, or you can watch it over on YouTube as well. So um, I use the classic Cloche stamp set um, and coordinating dies. The dies are on sale right now. So um, this is a card I made last week, this cute little holiday card. And for everybody who shared last week's video, I put their names into a drawing to win the card that we made. And that winner, I don't know if that was dust or something, um, <laughs> is Jean Hoffman. So Jean, congratulations. I would like to drop this in the mail to you. All I need is for you to email me me your mailing address because I don't have that so <laughs> I'd like to send this to you um but I need your mailing address so if you could pop that over to me at my email I'll greatly appreciate it 
And then I also picked another winner for this cute little birthday card. It's a great all occasion birthday card with all of my favorite bright and happy colors. Um, it says, happy birthday, you really are the best. I figure everyone can always use a birthday card, right? Um, so I picked this card to go to one person who commented last week on the video. I put everybody into a drawing and that winner is Judy Washburn. And Judy, I need your address as well so I can pop this little cutie in the mail to you. So Judy Ho Washburn and Jean Hoffman, you are both winners for cards. Just drop me your mailing address in my email, which is right here, and I will be happy to pop your, your cards in the mail to you. So congratulations. All right, let me move that out of the way. Hold on. <laughs> I just don't want anything to fall. Okay. So this is the card we're going to make today with a little twist. Okay. So I shared over on my blog the other day, a fun card with this sparkle of the season bundle. Um, it is this one right here and we're going to make it today, but plot twist, we're going to make it in non-traditional holiday colors. Okay. So this card I used your traditional red and green. There's evening evergreen, soft succulent, and real red. So traditional color combo for Christmas, which is fantastic. I absolutely love this. But we're going to shake it up today, and we're going to make this card again, but we're going to do it in some non-traditional colors so I can show you a different look for it. Um, and I actually really like this bundle a lot because it's perfect for, you can use it for, Christmas. You can use it for fall. You can use it for Halloween. Um, and you can use it for all occasion. These fun little leaves. I think you can just, you know, it, maybe the sentiments don't necessarily work for an all occasion card, but you could just shake it up and switch up your sentiments with some other sets that you have. So, um, uh-oh, Melanie says, my birthday is January 3rd, but cards never <laughs> arrive on time. The post office is a little bit challenging right now. I will tell you that. <laughs> it is, mail is taking a lot longer than usual right now. I totally agree. Um, and January 3rd is a tough day for a birthday, Melanie, because it's right after all the holiday hustle and bustle. And the post office is closed all around, and a lot of days in that area too. So yeah, that... <sighs> It's a good excuse to keep celebrating for the whole month, right? <laughs> okay, so, and when, um, so back to the card. <laughs> I, it doesn't take much to derail me, sorry. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this in a different color combo today. And then you can tell me what you think at the end. If you like one color combo over the other, if you like both, if you don't like any at all, I guess you can tell me that too. But, <laughs> but that is what we are going to make today. So let's get cracking. Now, as I mentioned, if I, you miss any of the measurements, it's all listed over on my blog. I have that linked above. So if you don't get them after the video, you can click on over there and you can get the measurements for yourself. Okay, let me get all my pieces, get all my bits and pieces here. Okay. I have everything pulled and I did some pre-cutting, so hopefully everything goes smoothly today. All right, you guys ready for the color combo we're gonna use today? If you visited me before, this probably isn't gonna shock you that I wanna do pink for a Christmas card. <laughs> so I am doing polished pink. Um, I thought I burnished this fold and I didn't. So we're going to use a color combo of polished pink, just jade, and a little pop of soft succulent. I'm going to use the shimmer vellum in soft succulent. Um, and then, of course, some basic white as well. So, um, so that's what we're doing. I love pink for Christmas. Um, it is personally one of my favorite color combos for the holidays. And so we're going to we're going to have a look at what... Uh, what this card looks like at the end. So let's get started. Trish is so funny. I knew it. I'm calling dibs on this card. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, you knew it was going to be pink. Anybody who knows me knows it's going to be pink. It's always going to be pink, you guys. <laughs> so, okay. So I have a traditional card base. Now I'm in the U.S., so I guess this is what, an A2 card base? Or is it A4? I, I think A4 is 
the metric version. I can't remember. Narelle's here. She can weigh in. <laughs> but this is a standard U.S. card base. Um, now, I, if you have visited me before, you you already know this. I like my cards to open um, vertically. So that's, that's what this measurement's going to be for. It's four and a quarter by 11. And we are going to fold it, score it, and fold it at five and a half. Now, if you want your card to open like a book, You'll just have to adjust the measurements. It's five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And that, okay, Debbie says A2. I was right. I, I just had a big discussion the other day with um, a group that I'm in. And we were, we were, there was someone from the UK in there and we were talking about A2 versus A4. And I got all confused thinking about it. So, so anywho, if you want your card to open like a book, you'll just have to adjust your measurements. I like my cards to open vertically like this. I just think they photograph a little bit better and they stand up a little bit nicer. Well, they do when they're, when they're all put together. <laughs> this one's just a little, he needs a little finessing. So we have our card base. I have a piece of just jade that is four inches by five and a quarter. And then I took a piece of basic white and I already embossed it so I didn't have to bring in um, the big embossing machine. I embossed it with the wintry embossing folders. Now, if you don't have these, oh, they might be on back order. I'm not 100% sure. They were just recently, so they might be off now. I'm not sure. But um, anyway, they're good to have all the, you can get them anytime. When they come back in stock, you can get them. Um, there's this cute little pine branches and then there's one with snowflakes. I think these are definitely a must-have for the season. So I just went ahead and embossed it and as you can see they're a thinner embossing folder which is fine because we're it doesn't matter that it's not embossed all the way over. Um, we're going to cover that piece up. <laughs> and then I have a piece. This is my favorite holiday DSP. I'm going to share with you which one it is. It is the Whimsy and Wonder Designer Series paper. It went with the Whimsical Trees collection. I do want to let you know this paper is not available anymore. It has sold out. So if you have it, you can use it. If you don't have it, oh my gosh, I'm tripping over my dog. <laughs> She's right behind me. If you don't have it, you could substitute the In Colors um, 6 by 6 patterns. There's this cute one with the gingham. Um, there's one with little polka dots. You can, Trisha says, because this is the prettiest paper ever. Yeah, it is. And let me tell you, I'm glad I bought an extra pack of it before <laughs> it went away. And I'm so happy to have it because even after it retires, I'm still going to use it because I love it that much because it has pink in it. You can't go wrong with that. But if you didn't get a chance to pick up this paper, this is a great alternative. Um, it has the in color patterns. It's good basics too. So um, that's an alternative you can use. But this little piece of paper is um, one and a half by five and one eighth. And I don't know if I mentioned that this is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. I don't, I don't think I mentioned that. <laughs> so, but again, if you missed any of those measurements, they're all over on my blog, you guys. Um, Norelle, you never got this one. <gasps> oh, this, this was, to me was one of the first things I bought when the catalog went live. I bought this suite. <laughs> it was the first thing I bought. And let me tell you, I have worn this suite out. <laughs> I love it. I use it so much. And I've used the paper a ton, and I still have a lot of it left. I see Trisha has four packs of it. Oh, lucky duck. Well, I know who to call when I'm desperate. See if Trisha can sell it to me on the on the black market. It'll fetch a pretty penny. Um, <laughs> okay, we're going to start adhering these pieces together. Oh, hi, Lisa. She has two full packs. Oh, lucky, lucky. The foil side is Melanie's favorite. Yeah, I, I always hate when one side of a paper has, I cut this a little long, um, has foil on it because I always feel like, <laughs> like I'm hiding the pretty parts by flipping it over. So, <laughs> and I always feel bad sticking down the foil part, but sometimes it has to happen. When we're making a pink card, we need pink paper. Hi, Mary Ellen from Montana. Okay, we're just going to assemble all these little bits right now so we can get them done so I don't lose anything because sometimes I'm notorious for that. What do you guys think of this color combo already? I love it. Pink and green. 
I'm going to show you guys. I'll show you at the end too. I think I have it close by. I have another pink, a pink and blue Christmas card with the whimsical trees. I, I'll flash on the screen at the end. So stay tuned for that. Hey, Lori from Wisconsin. Oh, snow up there too. Hi, Shirley. Sue is down to bits and pieces of this paper. Sue, cherish this paper. <laughs> I don't know. This is probably one of my favorite holiday papers in a long time. And I love it. Trisha says pool party. No, Trisha. Um, <laughs> you guys know I like to make up names, stamping up names. I always call things by the wrong name. Misty Moonlight. I don't know what I was going to call it. I was going to call it Moonlight Madness. I don't know. <laughs> Pay no attention to me. I just like to make up colors. <laughs> so Misty Moonlight. Which... I, I was just going to say something, and sometimes I realize my mouth says something that I probably, things I shouldn't say. <laughs> sometimes it sounds like it's a, I don't know, like an exotic dancer name, Mist, Misty Moonlight. <laughs> Please laugh. I hope I see smiley faces. Nobody get offended by that. I was just thinking it, and you know there are Stampin' Up! names that, that kind of make you go, hmm. Um, <laughs> that one, for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> But give me a laugh face emoji if you think that's funny. Don't leave me angry faces at that. I'm just trying to be funny, you guys. So, okay. So we've got our card base assembled. And if you have any um, particular Stampin' Up! names that you think fit that <laughs> criteria, go ahead and leave them in the comments below because there are a few. <laughs> So even if they're retired, there are some that are some that are a little more exotic than others, if you <laughs> get my drift. Um, okay, <laughs> we got our card base done. I can't believe I just said that, and I can't believe I'm going to put this on YouTube. Okay, I'm watching those emojis, and I just saw a crying face, and I'm hoping that's a mistake. I'm not trying to be offensive, you guys. It's all in good fun. Okay. I know sometimes those emojis get get hit on accident. So, okay, let's get some bits and pieces here. So I have, we have a little bit of die cutting we're going to do today. You guys are so cute. Thank you so much for sharing all those emojis. I love it. Hi, Dorothy, and hi, Pam. Thanks for sharing. Okay, so I have three little pieces here um, that I'm going to cut out for our wreaths. We're going to layer these wreaths up a little bit, okay? So I have a piece of just jade, and then I have the shimmer vellum. And I don't know if you guys, it's kind of tough to see, I think, on the camera. The shimmer gets lost. But if you don't have this paper, it's in the annual catalog. If you don't have it, invest in it, you guys. It, I, <laughs> I bought it and I didn't open it. And after I opened it, I can't stop using it. So <laughs> I love it. I use it for everything. So we're going to use a combination of two different die sets today. So I'm going to go in and get them. If you are not familiar with these dies, I will show you. So this is the dies the, what are they called? Seasonal swirls. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. Cajun craze. Oh my gosh, Trisha. I know I could go off on a tangent about <laughs> some of the names sometimes. So um, these coordinate with the sparkle of the season. We're going to use this little pine wreath and then I'm going to use the one with the little stars. I can't believe I said that. Do, do you guys are, I sometimes have no filter. Sometimes it just comes out and then I'm, I'm like, I probably shouldn't have said that, but it's too late. I already said it. So I'm going to use those. Now I am also going to cut out some stamped pieces as well. Um, just to show you, if you're not familiar, I know some people have this, but some people might not. So there are little bits here that will cut out all the little foliage. And we're going to do some stamping and cutting. So um, we're going to need these little foliage dies as well. But I actually already pre, um, did I pre-cut those? I think I did. In my head, I think I did. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we're not there yet. And then I'm going to use another... Um, dies basic borders dies so basic um <laughs> anybody that phrase cracks me up when people are like oh it's so basic um so basic borders and I'm going to use this little stitched um trim so I'm going to get those out okay get back on track Amory. get back on track oh Karen Karen did the cry face by accident Okay, that's okay. You can do that. If you're sad about the whimsical collection, you can be sad that it went away. We'll give you we'll give you the cry face, Karen. Okay. Now, I when I originally made this card, 
Um, you can layer these leaves together. Let me show you my original card. Where is it? Okay, so you can layer the wreath together. Um, here's one thing I will tell you. You could layer it with a little bit of liquid glue to adhere to your card. Um, this area here is really gonna hold the wreath down, but you will need a little liquid glue. Um, you have to have a really light touch with this. So what I would recommend for this little um, bundle is to use some of our adhesive sheets. And I realize I don't, I don't use these very often, so I thought it'd be fun to show you guys, if you're not familiar with them, how they work. So, um, so I'm gonna put just a little bit of adhesive on the back of this wreath. Now I'm not, what you could do is this essentially will turn your cardstock into sticker paper. Essentially, you put this on the back and it kind of makes a little sticker out of it. Um, normally, you could cover the whole piece. I don't need the whole piece. Like I said, I've got little bits and pieces here that will hold down in the middle. So I don't have to worry too much about making sure there's adhesive on all of it. But like on the top and the bottom, I want to get some adhesive just so it sticks to the card. Okay, so I'm going to put a little piece of this on the back. And again, I'm not covering the whole piece. So, ta -ta -ta. and that's the great part about this is you can use it however you want to. Just make sure your sparkly side's up. That's the important part. So we're gonna put a little piece on the back here. Okay, and that's gonna be for that one. And again, I just am going to kind of want to put it on the top and the bottom. And then same thing here. Oh, this is the point where stuff just starts flying around the desk. Um, I'm going to put a little piece on the back of this. And again, I'm just doing it in the middle. You can do whatever you want. I'm, I'm really frugal with this stuff. I have no idea why. Um, the way I use dimensionals, you think I wouldn't be so frugal with this, but um, for whatever reason, I just, I'm really cheap with this. I just don't like to waste it. So I'm just putting it where I need it. And then I'll do one more piece on the back of the shimmer vellum. And like I said, I did the original card with liquid glue and there's nothing wrong with that. You can totally do it with liquid glue. I just kind of found that, um, if you're somebody who maybe doesn't have a light hand with liquid glue, it it can get a little messy. So this is the um, this is the easy way to do it. And don't be don't be cheap with your adhesive sheets like I am. <laughs> no, you you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. They're your stamping supplies. Um, <laughs> but but I just don't need to cover the whole thing. So we're gonna use the baby cut and emboss machine. Try and multitask here. I'm going to cut my border and this is just about like a half inch um, strip and it's by five and one eighth because it's good. Oh, you guys. <laughs> well, we're not going to do the border. You know why? Because the border was supposed to go right here and guess who stuck the paper down. So we're not going to do the border plot twist. So if you don't have the basic border dies, don't worry. You don't have to put the border on if you don't want to. <laughs> it's okay. It is okay. I'm gonna shake things up. Um, all right, and I'm gonna cut one of the stars. I don't think I can fit both of these on here. So let me just do this one. Whoops. I can't believe I forgot the border. That's okay. That is A-OK, -okay. just goes to show you. And you can see on the back of this, it has put a little bit of adhesive. Then you just go ahead and peel. Actually, I'm not gonna peel that off till I start adhering so I know where the adhesive is. Um, but it just kind of puts a little bit of sticker on there. Okay, let's do a couple of these real quick. Um, and we'll do two of the little pine reeds. It's a lot to run this through. Okay, there we go. Okay. And I'll worry about getting all those little bits out there in a minute. We'll just run this other one through. Okay, so three different reads. Okay, I'm gonna pull this a little closer to me because I always end up shaking the desk and um, I'm trying to 
avoid that as much as possible today. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. Sometimes I like to do the die cutting in advance and other times, I don't know. Some people like to see how the die cutter works, so that's why I do it. Okay, be gentle with vellum. I'm, I'm telling, I'm reminding myself, not you. Um, <laughs> be gentle, don't rip the vellum. Okay, so we've got our pine, I don't know, spriggy leaf. I don't know what that is. It's not, I guess it's more branchy. And then I have a second one. And then we have our little stars. Okay, we're situated. All right, so we're going to start out by just layering this up on the card. So I'm just going to peel off that adhesive backing. And again, you could use more or less whatever floats your boat. Um, I just need to remember, ooh, a stray bit there. I just need to remember where it is. <laughs> so I'm just going to stick it down. And oh, there's still a couple little stray bits in there. I didn't get them all, hold on. And as you can see, it's just holding it down slightly because I didn't cover the whole piece. You can cover the whole piece. Um, what if we put the border down in the middle of the pink? All right, let's cut it. I'm gonna cut it off camera though, hold on. We'll cut it and we'll see what we come up with. I'm always up to try anything, let's see. Well, it's going to be provided that I cut it straight. <laughs> I just thought about that after the fact. I'm like, I don't know that I cut that very straight, but I didn't. It's really, it's totally crooked. It might work, <laughs> except I kind of cut it wonky. So we'll skip it. <laughs> okay. So this is just holding on the top and the bottom. Again, you could use more adhesive if you wanted to. Um, I'm just being frugal with it. Because like I said, my sentiment and all my little stamp bits are really going to hold it down. So I'm not too concerned with it. I'm just giving it a little, a little extra on the top and the bottom. Where's my adhesive? Here it is. So I'm just going to layer these up. And kind of alternate your little branches so they don't look identical. Get all these little bits out of the way. And then we'll put the pink, I'm sorry, what is this called? It's called Polished Pink. That's an easy name to remember. I should be able to get that. Um, <laughs> let's get Polished Pink and Magenta Madness confused. Okay, so my adhesive is mostly in these areas here. This area is not stuck down, but it will be. It will be once we start doing our little bits. Okay, got some stamping to do. Okay, sorry I forgot that border, you guys, but you'll get to see some different options. Okay, time to take my little sweater off here. I'm starting to sweat. I'm messing up so much. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay, so I just have a scrap of white here. I'm going to use soft succulent and polished pink. And here's what I'm going to use. We've got this little guy here. We're going to do two of these. And polished pink. Oh, I got some ink on that. Set that out of the way so I don't get pink ink on everything. And then I'm gonna do two sprigs in soft succulent. Okay, those are done. Now I have a little strip here for the sentiment that is, it is about a quarter of an inch tall and it can be whatever length you want to we're going to trim it off so just get a little strip and that's for the sentiment close my ink here oh you know what i should do the inside of the card we're gonna do the inside of the card after this too just so i can get all the stamping out of the way while every while i'm doing it so i'm going to use this sparkle of the season and i'm using just jade ink for this okay so that's gonna go over here to stamp close to one side and then go 
in and snip the, oh no, <laughs> got that right in the ink. Um, snip that off and let's do the inside while I'm here. So I have a piece of four by five and a quarter for the inside and I have just a little scrappy strip of the same pink paper on the front. I'm going to put that on the bottom here and Oopsie, I'm gonna have to use this for scrap here. I'm gonna kind of tuck that here. I'm gonna use that for some scraps. So I'm gonna do Merry Christmas for the inside sentiment in, I'm gonna do just Jade. And that's gonna go right about there. And then let's bring those little branches back. do a okay I'll do some more sprigs here so I'm going to do soft succulent up here in the corner and then we'll pop in a little just to kind of decorate the inside a little bit because we never want to have naked insides of our cards I'm just going to go ahead and stick this down right now. Less of a chance I'll drop something on it, right? <laughs> okay. Oops. Bum bum bum. Let's pop that on the bottom. Is my sentiment crooked? My sentiment might be a little crooked. Quick tip, if you do stamp your sentiment a little bit crooked, an easy fix for that is just cut yourself a little strip of um, white and then stamp it straight and then you can even adhere it over the top. Nobody's gonna know you made a mistake and your sentiment was crooked. Just make sure you cut your little strip a little bit larger than the width of the sentiment to make up for the fact that it's a little crooked. I'll, I'll do that after the video. I'm not gonna fix that right now because it, it is a little crooked, but, and since I'm giving this card away, I want it to be, I want it to be straight. So I'll probably go in and fix that after the fact, but that will go on the inside of the card. So we'll just pretend that's done. Okay, so now we want to die cut these images. Ta-da, I did them. They're already done. And what I'm going to do is I am going to cut these in pieces. No one will know that you have cut these apart, only you. It's a little secret okay and we're just gonna layer them up around the sentiment so this little extra sprig well I'm not gonna throw it away just yet who knows what can happen <laughs> so I'm just gonna start layering these up on the corner of the sentiment and I'm gonna use some glue dots for that and I may have to trim these down a little bit too that's fine like I said, you can use these pieces as they're intended. You don't have to cut them apart if you don't want to, but um, I like to just so they frame the sentiment the way I want them to frame the sentiment. But if you're not as picky as I am, you don't have to cut those apart. Okay. Okay, regroup. Back to what I'm doing here. So now I'm going to take this a little too long. I know I don't need that. So I'm going to kind of pop this in the corner and I'm going to pop the, this little one's going to go here. I'm going to pop in one of these. Hello, Taya, how are you today? And tuck this little guy in here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, lost the glue dot. It's okay. It is okay. We're going to make it work. I'm trying to pick up the glue dot. Um, I probably should have put the pink ones on first, but that's okay. That's how we roll here, guys. We just go with it. Okay. So, like I said, these little pieces, I'm just kind of framing them 
around the sentiment, and then I'm going to adhere them with some Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm sure happy you were able to catch me too today. I still can't believe I forgot to put that border on there. <laughs> I mean, I can believe I forgot to do it because I was talking too much, but that's okay. I'm gonna pop a couple little pieces of dimensionals on there. I guess you could use mini dimensionals if that's easier for you. I just, I had these sitting on my desk, so. Narelle says she likes, loves how I trim them down to make them work for the sentiment. Yes, that is a really good point. Sometimes um, you just need them to frame your sentiment a certain way. Oh, this little guy. All right, I'm gonna, I gotta force this one in there so it catches the glue dot there. <laughs> it didn't wanna play nice. So tweezers to the rescue. Okay, and now I'm just gonna pop this on the wreath like so. And the, all those dimensionals are holding the wreath down. So see, we just had a little adhesive here and this does the rest of the work for you. So that is easy peasy. And then next up, we have to, I tied a little ribbon. This is the, I mentioned this on last week's video. I cannot stop using this trim, you guys, if you don't have it. You get a roll of silver and a roll of gold. It's called Simply Elegant Trim. I'm using it for everything right now. I love it. And I use it a ton, and I'm barely making a dent in it. Um, and I'm just going to pop oh, that little sprig. I'm going to pull down just a little bit, and I'm going to kind of adhere it to right there. So it has a little... I mean, when you have a sentiment that says, may the sparkle of the season warm your heart and home, you have to have sparkle. So we've got our shimmer vellum, we've got our shimmery ribbon, and then my all-time staple, rhinestones. We can't have a card without rhinestones. Sorry, I just have to pull that little pink one down a little bit. I may have to add just a tiny mini dimensional back there to hold that where I want it, but I'm going to do that later. Okay. Hi, Anne. She says, love the design, but I'm more of a traditional Christmas colors. Well, guess what? You've got that option with the first one that I made. So if you like traditional Christmas colors um, and the border that I forgot to put on this one, <laughs> there you've got an option for the traditional Christmas colors. And that's the one that's posted over on my blog. So you'll see that one over there. Um, but if you like non-traditional Christmas colors, you can go with the pink and green. Okay, we've got some bling. I'm gonna do a little, two little blings here. And I always like to do my blings in odd numbers. So um, I'm gonna decorate my wreath with, let's see, one, two, three, there's gonna be five rhinestones on the wreath and then two little accents here. So that's seven we're still in good shape with an odd number. So, oh, oh, hold on. There's a little piece still stuck in the wreath. Get out of there, get out of there. And we don't need that sprig anymore. So just get rid of that. Okay, I'm just gonna pop on. And these are gonna kind of act like little berries on the wreath, which I think is super cute. Oh, I lost it. Need to get myself together here. One, two, three. Uh-oh. I think I may have used four, five, six. So, oh no, we may not be using an odd number, but it's okay. We're not going to use an odd number. You know why? And I think it's okay because... Here's why, I'm gonna give you my justification. You may not agree with it, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Um, I think it circled the wreath kind of perfectly. So I actually kind of like the even numbers. I thought this was odd numbers, but I guess I did even, just cause it filled up the space on the wreath. So, but you can do whatever you want. You can add as much or as little bling as you want on the card. So, but I'm bump, I'm gonna, I have to pull this little guy down and stick him up. He is not staying where I want him, but I'm gonna do that after the video. But there you go. And then, like I said, we have our inside 
done as well. I'll probably fix my crooked sentiment. So, <laughs> so here we go, guys. This is a fun little holiday card. I love the texture in the background. Really, what you really can't see is that shimmer vellum has such an amazing detail on this card. And I just love how just layering it up gives it such a really cool effect. So what do you think? Which one's your favorite? Red and green or pink and green? Um, I like both of them personally. And I think um, both of them are still festive in their own way. This would be way more festive with that border. <laughs> it's fine without the border. I don't know why I'm stressing about it. Um, and another thing here, guys, too, um, here is another version of the pink and green, but I use the musical notes in the background of that as well. So if you wanted kind of, you can use whatever um, embossing folders you have. If you don't have the wintry, but you have the, I don't remember what this is off the top of my head. <laughs> I don't remember the name of it. It's in the holiday, the mini catalog. It's the one with the musical notes. Um, but you could do any embossing um folder that you do have, but I just kind of wanted to do these the same. So there you have it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today's card, even with my little minor hiccup, but I think it's, um, I don't know. I think they're fun holiday cards. I hope you love them too. And um, if you don't have this bundle, it's a great time to pick it up before it retires. And um, as I mentioned, there's a link to my online store in the description of the video. So go ahead and pick it up before it retires if you love it. Um, like I said, I've used this nonstop for um, fall, for Christmas, and I just think it's, um, it's just a really versatile little bundle. Um, and it really comes to life when you do some layering. So I hope you love it today. Um, hopefully I have one color choice that you like <laughs> and um, there you have it. So I hope you guys have a great day. If you're watching this live or the replay, leave some comments, say hello, share the video um, for a chance to win the card that I made today. And um, there you go. So thank you so much for being with me today. I hope you all enjoy your weekend and stay stay cool or stay warm, depending on where you are. I know some people are getting snow. We're unseasonably hot here. So, um, <laughs> but I hope you have a wonderful weekend nonetheless, and I will be back with y'all soon. And this will post to YouTube either later tonight or tomorrow morning. So just be on the lookout for that. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and get notifications over there, and it'll let you know when it posts if you want and watch it on YouTube. Okay. All right. Well, you guys have a fantastic day and happy stamping out there. Oh, the blue card. Karen reminded me the blue card. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Here it is. Here's another card with the DSP. I promised you this and I forgot to show you. Thanks for reminding me. And this just cut out the little presents. So this is the um, Blushing Bride and Mid Misty Moonlight. <laughs> so here's another option with that D DSP if you have it too. So so there you go. I love this one, you guys. I love pink and blue together. Mm -hmm. Super cute, right? And that's the rose gold um, foil on that one. So ta-da. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Happy stamping out there. Be kind to each other. Take good care. And I will be back with you soon. Bye, everyone.